We're dining at the new Portillo's right outside Disney World. Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. You're watching the theme park foodies and behind us, you can kind of see it, there it is, is Portillo's. We have never eaten here before, but as, as avid, I was gonna say avid New Yorkers, but as <laughs> former New Yorkers, we are big hot dog fans. And this is a uh, Chicago-based hot dog Chicago joint, Chicago-based, right? fast, casual dining. I know <laughs> that when they opened their Orlando location a couple of years ago, like it was a big rage on Twitter. Like yeah. it was People heard, love it's, Portillo's. It's, it's hyped up. This is the brand new location in Kiss Me, right down 192. 192 was kind of like the I-4 of its day before Universal opened and all of the uh, attractions near I-4 opened up. Um, but it's, it's a very notable strip right outside Disney World, right outside Animal Kingdom. And again, this is hot dogs. And I don't feel like I've had a good hot dog since we've been in New York, Sam. You know, you get the. We had a lot of Nathan's had, hot dogs. We've had Casey's, but you yeah, know, that's different. Nathan Casey's is kind of like a ballpark dog. I like that good snap, mm -hmm. which is what I'm hoping that this provides us. When we went to Nathan's in our other videos, those are one of my favorite hot dogs because they have those good that good snap to them, you know. Mm -hmm. And here they have the Chicago dog, so it's gonna have like that pickle on it and stuff. And, and I, I think like it's fancy dogs. A poppy seed bun. Ooh. Did you know that? No, they also have some really other good looking stuff on the menu. Stole the chocolate cake shake. Yes. And I actually heard there's a really good chopped salad. I'm yeah. a big fan of chopped salad. There's salads. a hot beef sandwich, I think, too. Italian beef. Italian beef. I'm, gonna, I'm a big fan of, you know. Italian of, beef? Of, of hot yeah. beef sandwiches. So <laughs> I'm excited to go in, check it out, see the interior decor, eat all the delicious food, and experience Portillo's for the first time. Hopefully it's our new you know, local hot dog joint. Mm. So, are you ready? Ready. All right, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner here at Portillo's in Kissimmee. It's new, the palm trees aren't even like uh, fully, oop, almost tripped, aren't even fully grown yet. All right, let's head inside. They can cater. Interesting. Hours, they actually have some late hours till 12 a.m. on the weekends. All right, you ladies first, Sam. Oh, it's very nice in here. Frank. Yep, there's a Frank boat up there. Oh, look, there's a gator on it too. You guys can see. It's right there. So the interior decor reminds me of like a 1950s classic aesthetic. They have a Coca-Cola right above like the restroom area, cans of soup, and they're playing like old 50s music. All right, let's head online. They have gift cards if you want them. I really like the open kitchen plan. You can see the steam coming off. You can smell everything being cooked. Right where you pick up the food, it kind of goes over with the history of Portillo's. There's the original doghouse right there. Owner, Dick Portillo. The old school mobile gas pump right here at the front. All right, so we have gotten a lot of food. We didn't just get a salad. We got a lot of stuff. We got the hot dog, we got the hot beef. Pretty much a lot of things that we heard that they're known for. This salad looks good. And there's pasta in it. Who doesn't want pasta in their salad? Yeah, it'll have a little carb with your vegetables. There's chicken, tomatoes, bacon, cabbage, romaine. I got the house dressing on it. You know what the house dressing is? Nope. And I haven't tried it, so I don't really even know what it tastes like. It's like almost like an Italian. It looks like a, this is what it looks like. It looks like a creamy Italian yeah. kind of to me. We'll see how it tastes. They also have um, a Caesar salad and a Greek salad as well. Their fries are crinkle cut. Here, there's gorgonzola in here. Ooh, there's gorg. Wow, they got a lot going a on. Bomb salad. It looks like a bomb salad. It's finely chopped as well. I love finely chopped salad. I think the the pasta is a nice addition. The crunchy bacon, the gorgonzola, a lot of different textures. This is delicious. It's a pretty big portion, too. Oh, so you can get two meals out of that. Especially with everything we brought to the table. This is really good. I didn't <laughs> expect to come to a Chicago hot dog place and love the salad, but... I'm going eight. Oh, wow. That's great. 
pasta, unique. The chicken is good that's in it. All right, Sam is gonna have her hand at the fries. Now, I'm anti-crinkle cut, generally. Also, side note, my salad did come with a piece of bread, but I think I need to bypass the bread. <laughs> Also, this food could taste like trash, but the fact that there's this hot dog on here, like, I'm gonna come back. But it doesn't taste like trash. I don't think it does, yeah. It doesn't, but I'm just saying, this, this right here. Yeah, uh, Frank is, is their mascot. We gotta give them more business. Yeah, so this is a crinkle cut fry. Not our preferred fry. The cheese is good. I like steak. I like, like, shoestring fries. I like the checkers fries. Curly fries. I have the Culver's fries. Yeah, I like Culver's fries, but they're not my top fry. Yeah, I mean, it's a good fry. Not, yeah, this isn't gonna be in my top. That's the cheese sauce. Is it a cheddar cheese or more American? This is American. Okay. So not that sharp cheddar flavor. I mean, I would still get this again. It's not bad at all. It's delicious, but like you said, Pringle Cut is not our. One out of ten. Seven. Okay. A little crispy. I like them a little crispier. Now I got the hot Italian beef. Now they say that the Bortillo's weighs with extra gravy. So I got extra gravy. Sam, you also got the root beer. Yeah, I just felt like I needed root beer for this. It's a solid root beer. I think it's just like bark, so it's not I feel like anything. you could dip it in the cheese too. Hot Italian beef. I could make a joke, but I won't. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Wow. It's good. Now, the bread is very saturated with the gravy, so it can be a little messy, just to forewarn you. The roast beef is a little, like I like a little bit less cooked maybe, you know? It's still very good, it's very tender. There's no like gaminess kind of to it or chewiness to it. Kind of chews right up with the right amount of texture. And then the gravy really like blends in with this bread very well. I like it looks like good bread. Cheese. Yeah. Solid, it's good. I'll give it a seven. Probably not the best I ever had. It's still very good. I'm looking forward to that dog. I'm sure that dog. Now this is the name of the game right here, Sam. They're Chicago-style dogs. This is what brought them to the dance. That little wiener hut right at the front. It's got the... Uh, I love pickles. Pickle on it. It's good. I don't think I've ever really had a Chicago dog before. Also, poppy seed bun. Mm. I'm down with that. I definitely was like, I'm going to let Jay eat that one. Oh, that looks like a hot pepper. Oh. Oh, velvet cheese. Mm -hmm. Remember what I said about the snap with uh, the Nathan's? Yes. Just, to, just like Nathan's got the snap. That's what I've been missing. Look at that. You can see that's that's, that's just like a Nathan's dog. Delicious. Really good. Definitely our new hot dog place. This is the best hot dog I've had in Florida, without a doubt. For me, everyone has different. Flavors. Why do you rate it? I don't go for the ballpark. Did type. you rate it? I haven't rated it yet. I'm still contemplating. I'm gonna go eight for this. I like the dog more than the sandwich. I feel like the hot beef people were going crazy for. It. But I think I actually may like the hot dog more. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go for a, an eight for the dog. It's it's a great dog. It reminds me just like a, if you had Nathan's. It reminds me just like a Nathan's dog. Cake shake. Homemade cake. Put inside a shake. Let's see how it tastes. So they do have like the chocolate cake slices that are very popular and they actually put the cake slice into the shake and there's mayonnaise in there. Mm -hmm. You just ended with that? You yeah. just let me hang? <laughs> there's my you love mayonnaise so I don't feel like it should be a problem. My milkshake. They use mayonnaise in the chocolate cake. It makes Mayonnaise actually makes cakes very moist. So I hope you don't care about your arteries. But I'm gonna basis off of flavor, not mayonnaise. Although I do like mayonnaise. <laughs> Sam, you can try this. You can taste it. Sam will like, try this. And it's very hard because when they said it tastes like 
when I, when I hear chocolate cake shake, I figured it's gonna taste just like a chocolate shake. I didn't think it was gonna taste like a chocolate cake inside a shake. And that is exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like if you took a very moist chocolate shake, blended it up, and put chocolate ice cream all around it. It's delicious. I'm it's not mayo. Yeah, I, I, mayo, I'm listening. I'm, I don't taste the mayo. I'm not judging off Yeah, no, you don't taste it. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a nine. This is probably one of my top shakes. And I'm usually a peanut butter chocolate shake guy. This is like, for me, Hershey Park club. Oh. Yeah. I, I would still say Hershey Park's above. Hershey Park's probably like, that's why it's hard with the tag. Uh, Hershey Park doesn't have little hot dogs on their bags and cups. No, this is Hershey Park with me. This is is, wait, is there a dog on the side of the cup? Uh, there's this one right there here. There he is. <laughs> hey, Frank. All right, Sam is gonna have her hand at the cake shake. I don't wanna take the cup home. How do you even, it's so thick. I just chugged it down. Just, just kicked it back. It tastes like chocolate cakes. It tastes like shake. a devil dog. Yeah, you're right. Like a devil dog shake. Oh my god, my dad would love this. I think everyone's dad would love that. My dad loved mayonnaise and my dad loved chocolate <laughs> shakes. And he would always get a chocolate shake from the ice cream man. My dad would always say yes when, when the um, Mr. Softy was going by and he would always get like the thick chocolate shake from you. the ice cream man. I did not always say yes to Mr. Frosty. We had different dads. <laughs> yeah, it's it like a double dog to me, like a double, like a double dog milkshake. Yeah, thing. isn't it so good? It's really good. What do you give it? I agree with your nine. I'm happy that we agree on this. It's definitely worth it. They do have outdoor seating, it looks like, as well as a pickup window back there. It's a little chilly tonight for outdoor seating. But uh, this is a great option to have in Florida. Plus, it's got it's covered, so if it's raining, you can still get outside. Or if the sun is won't beam down on you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that does it for our time here dining at Portillo's. Portillo's. <laughs> I usually always say the L's, but in in here in Kissimmee, right outside Walt Disney World, I really enjoyed the aesthetic. It's across the street from Margaritaville. Yes. Oh yeah. Just so you guys know, yeah, Margaritaville is right across the street from here. And again, 192, a very populated road right here it's very close to animal kingdom yeah. literally right down the road so if you guys want to stop by I can definitely recommend the hot dog i feel like it's better than any hot dog i've had in disney yeah uh and then that cake shake it's just delicious right and i really liked my salad and it's nice that they have something yeah. that's not i tried some of her salad too the salad was a solid option i'd probably give it give it an eight right yeah i'd probably go it was you a know good what that go away too i like the pasta in it i liked pasta. there was like a lot of crunchy textures but then you had the soft pasta but the yeah. gorgonzola was nice. I have a whole bunch left over for my lunch tomorrow. The aesthetic and the music were really nice too, yeah, right? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. It's like and that then, 1950s, you know, type my, of aesthetic. That's my jive. And then when they call your order numbers, they always like say something different. They yeah. like, I got now and now, of course I'm drawing a blank, <laughs> but like. Take your pick number 66 or something like that. Or yeah. here's your fix. Yeah, here's your, yeah, here's your fixes. Yeah. You're in here's heaven, your heaven two, six, two, 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 six, seven, yeah. like. It's really fun. Yeah, it's really nice. Well lit restaurant, uh, beautiful um, interior, funly, de um, funly themed decor. And things I want to come back and try. I want to come back and yes. try the beef and cheddar croissant. Yes. The chicken sandwich. I feel like the big beef, the Italian beef, has more things on it than mine did. The ones on the sign looked like it had like peppers and stuff on it. Mine looked well, like I feel like the that. ones on the sign always look. You know, That's true. I wonder. Did. I would like to try a burger. I definitely like the dog. I'd be coming back for the dog for sure. The do if you're a Nathan's dog, tastes just like a Nathan's dog. So could definitely recommend. Had a great time. It was a short little, you know, dining experience here at Portillo's. And if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video to the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time. The videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. We make the days count. We will see you next time. That is all, folks. Yeah, it's like a nicely, like, themed restaurant. It's got Frank as a mascot. Yeah. You know? I'm, I'm definitely coming back. Yeah. This is like our new hot dog spot, for sure. <laughs>